Now, there's a good thing going on, though. The Gaddafi thing is just getting out of here. Right? He's going to be the next guy found down a hole somewhere. You know who he is. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, because you know, I love... The, the funniest thing ever is, is when the Western powers decide to yank the magic carpet out from underneath a Middle Eastern dictator. Right? It's just such a... Because they don't even know. They can't even comprehend their... They make these crazy statements, you know. We will burn the ground beneath their feet. Which will be difficult when you're underground, you know? <laughs> you know, the lighted torch, climb up high, I guess, and they're standing, ow, ow, the ground is kind of hot in this spot, I noticed. <laughs> Still haven't found Gaddafi. But, uh, what was it all with? This is my favorite thing that he said was, uh, we will not surrender, we will keep fighting, we are not women. I know. <laughs> I know, that is a ballsy statement, right? You're trying to hide? Huh? That is. That is a ballsy statement, boy. Because in my experience, uh, it's women who like to keep the fight going. <laughs> and I hope he has no women with him, huh? Because, man, that is one, that is a fight, that is one way to find your shit thrown all over the safe house lawn. Huh? You're just gonna, he's right there, there he is, bring a drone in, asshole, women. Safe house, do I love it? I love the term safe Because Osama bin Laden killed where? In a safe house. Huh? Top Al Qaeda lieutenants killed where? In a safe house. If, if, if I'm Gaddafi right now, I'm looking for an unsafe house, you know? Something maybe with a gas leak, faulty wiring, maybe there's like asbestos insulation. You know? Structural damage from a hurricane. I don't know how many punchlines you people need till you laugh at it. Keep going. <laughs>